This is a podcast by The Straits Times. Warning. This podcast is an audio documentary of a real crime case which may be troubling and upsetting to certain listeners. This episode specifically covers themes of suicide and details of death and traumatic sexual acts. Listener discretion is advised. If you're tuning in from Singapore, we also have mental well-being and resource helplines in our podcast show notes. Suicide Recruitment Notice I want to die, but I'm terrified of doing it alone. If there's anyone who wants to die together, please send me a direct message. I'm 23, living in Tokyo. It will help if you have a car. Thank you for your follow. Burning charcoal is an option, but how about hanging after getting drowsy on sleeping pills? You'll die comfortably without any pain. Takahiro Shiraishi preyed on suicidal young women who had the desire to die but lacked the courage to end their own lives. Through six accounts on Twitter, which is now known as X, he struck up conversations with them by offering not just empathy, but also a way out of their troubles by pretending to be an expert in hanging. In less than three months, he lured his victims to his home in Sama City, located in Kanagawa, an hour and a half from central Tokyo, where he drunk, raped, robbed, and killed them before chopping up their bodies. All of them held suicidal thoughts, but none actually wanted to die. On Halloween in 2017, police found nine human heads and 240 bones in Shiraishi's 13.5 square meter apartment, which was later dubbed the House of Horrors. Like many Japanese apartments, the unit was tiny, not that much larger than a regular car park lot. Though Shiraishi's was a loft unit with a high ceiling from which he hanged his victims. His motives were sex and money. You're listening to True Crimes of Asia, a special podcast series by The Straits Times. I'm Walter Sim, ST's Japan correspondent. In this episode, we take you to Japan, which despite its low crime rates, has made headlines for terrifyingly violent crimes. (laughs) 